In the municipality of Massinloch, they are putting their lives back together as they have done so many times before. But this typhoon, residents say, was worse than most of the others. And for one resident, Myra Edna Lager, whose home used to have a front wall, the rebuilding will be harder this time around. She escaped with her three children, just in time as floodwaters were rising around them. I was thinking of staying, but my children were screaming for us to leave, so we did. The neighborhood's solitary rescue vehicle sent to evacuate villagers itself became a victim. Waters reaching one to two meters above the top of the nearby riverbank sent a torrent through the surrounding villages. People here say this was the worst typhoon this year and this is the third consecutive year that this municipality has declared what's known as a state of calamity, something everyone here is getting used to. In other parts of the Philippines, especially in the central and eastern parts of Luzon Island, the damage was worse as communities bore the brunt of Utah's winds as it whipped in from the Pacific. Back on the west coast, as this typhoon is consigned to memory and to video clips on handphones, there is a growing awareness that more severe storms require greater preparedness. Coming to inspect the damage, the provincial governor is pleased that recent strengthening works along the riverbank held out. This was just newly constructed. Uh, it just uh, came in time and, uh, of course, it saved uh, the houses from destruction. Still in the middle of typhoon season, villagers reconstruct knowing it is only a matter of time before the next one. Glad at least to see the back of this one gone west into the South China Sea. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Massinloch, the Philippines.